Guys, welcome to the Elk Shape Gear Channel. This is Jake Webb, Death State. So we're going over backcountry water systems. This is important because it's tough to stay hydrated when you're elk hunting. Okay, so we got all these different systems, how to filter your water. I'm just gonna show you how they all work. Easy. Yes, this is right out of steak and pool. tough to remember drinking water. You gotta decipher, are you the person that's gonna run a hydration system through your pack where you can drink readily? I recommend that, especially if you're a sweater. Uh, if you're someone like me, doesn't sweat a lot, I run a Nalgene system where I just keep it on my hip and a Nalgene, a bigger Nalgene, like a 48 ounce in the main compartment of my pack. Getting water and setting up spike camps, bivy camps, and even base camps, water is usually what dictates a lot of those decisions. I typically try to carry somewhere around 80 ounces of water at most, knowing that I'm gonna get water at some point during the day. Not a lot of water. So what I carry in my pack, no matter what, is the SteriPen. This is the Classic 3. Classic 3, yep. And it's got great battery life. I remember the very first time I used it, I didn't realize you had to take this off. So I got water out of a really crappy wallow in um, Montana. Then you came up and told me, hey, you might want to take that off after I drank about half of it. Didn't get Giardia though, but yeah, take this off. Make sure you replace the batteries before the season. I usually run like a couple of lithium double A's and it does the trick. I carry two extra lithiums in my pack. Good to go. You have the same brand, but you don't like yours. What is it? Yeah, so the big thing with uh, SteriPen, you guys, like this isn't a filter. What this is doing is this is technically killing all the bad stuff in your water. So you have a UV light, you stick this in your Nalgene, the probes contact the water, and you have to stir this around. You're still drinking stuff, it's just dead. But this is a SteriPen, this is a Pure, and I got it because it's lightweight. The problem is the battery life on this really sucks and the probe is small, and I've filtered like four Nalgene's, and then it's already telling me that like the battery life is low. How many batteries is yours for? So this is a rechargeable, oh. so I like that. So no, I ain't doing that. So there's one in between these, okay. and that's the one that I like. Okay. And it has a rechargeable battery, but it's that size, and it works great. I ain't getting rid of this. I don't mind the size, it stays in the bottom of my pack, I always have an option treat, but yeah, you are drinking germs. They're just dead. Yep. But that's fine with me. Now let's look about the Sawyer. Probably my favorite go-to. They're so cheap. I replace it almost every year, every other year, or you can just clean the filter out. Got a nice arrow showing you which way to flow. In my spiked camp bag, this is where this thing lives. So this is my dirty bag. I'll fill this up. And what I'll do is while I'm making dinner, I'm already boiling that water, so I ain't got to worry about it. Yep. And then this is just overnight, I'm getting this filled up. And what I do at my little spike camp is I just make sure this bad boy is always full. So in the mornings before it's daylight, I'll go down to my water source, fill it up, yep. have it filling this thing up while I'm hunting. And as soon as I get back, I'll be running this while my water's boiling. And it's a great little system, weighs nothing. The one thing you want to consider is this element in here and these hoses, depending on where you are and how cold it gets, this is going to freeze. So that's a problem. That's where the SteriPen, there is no water getting into that system, so nothing's gonna freeze. This is a nice one because it does connect directly to your now top of Nalgene, like your standard Nalgene. Yep. And it doesn't take much effort to fill it up. And it's got a little float, so you can just throw it in a pool of water or a creek, a few pumps, and your Nalgene's full. So it is nice, but dude, feel how heavy that is. It's heavy, like the payoff you have is you get like instant filtered water. Fast and furious. But this weight comparison, like I wouldn't want to pack that around. I don't, I, I don't use it because of the weight. So yeah. literally, I rule this out because it just weighs too much, but it is a good option. Maybe if you're like day hunting or something and you're, you don't mind a little bit more load, but. Um, For me, a pump style like that, if there was like four of us going on a backpacking trip, one guy would carry that and somebody sure. else would carry something. Sure. But for a solo, no way, that's too heavy. And then we got this new guy, the Catadyne, which is new to us. Now, this channel is about testing, so there will be another video. We're gonna use this spring bear and we're gonna put it to the test. Let's do the unboxing now and check it out. So in this, this is a pump system similar to that. It is lighter, it is smaller. I have a big brother to this that's this big for like a family base camp, but that's, that's heavy too. 
So this is a micro filter hiker. Yep. So you, you have your pump here, water in, water out. But the weight comparison like is huge. Um, Catadine Hiker is 11 ounces. We'll get you guys a weight on the MSR, but very similar system. Pump, all your hoses, everything like that. That all goes in. Yeah, this piece alone only weighs six ounces. So this, this is the other six ounces. Yeah, it's pretty significant. I mean, the weight difference. Yeah, how does it work? You have an inlet, and this is gonna be dirty water in to the filter. On the top, you're gonna have your out. So this end is gonna sit right on your Nalgene. You have your pump, this is gonna go into the water. And see how easy this pump is. And you get instant filtered water. So weight savings, that could be a great option for the pump style. Um, I still like the gravity fed because I can do quite a bit of water while I'm sleeping. And I just, at, at a spike camp system like this, I'm just continually keeping this full. So in the mornings, I'm, I'm emptying this into both Nalgene's and I'm running around with the SteriPen in my bottom of my pack. Not this crappy one, but the Classic 3. Um, all good systems, all different price points, you guys. We're gonna put this one through the paces this bear season. We'll do you a full video on that. All these things do not like freezing temperatures, so watch your back. Guys, we appreciate you. Tap the sub because we are growing this channel. This channel is dedicated to nothing but gear, vetting, testing, reviewing, and making sure you guys can make informed decisions. We'll catch you on the next one.